If you are married, or if you ever have been, you know that the last few hours before your wedding ceremony are exciting and hectic and can be pretty stressful too. Well, imagine if the whole world was watching. A young couple in London is now 10 hours away from the altar and millions of people around the world just can't wait. In a hotel near Buckingham Palace, the bride-to-be is going to be doing her own makeup. Partly because that's the way she does things, partly to keep her dress a secret. And not far away, the groom, the man who will be king, is practicing his vows and hopes he's not too nervous. London is alive with excitement. The streets are lined with cheering well-wishers, including a group of tourists from Victoria thrilled to be there, taking it all in. A News reporter Astrid Brownschmidt has the story. These are exclusive photos obtained by CTV from inside Westminster Abbey on the eve of the royal wedding. It's a glimpse of what 1900 guests will enjoy when they watch Will and Kate walk down the aisle. Outside, flanked by her mother and sister, Kate Middleton gave well-wishers a smile and a wave before disappearing into the Goring Hotel. But another guest piqued everyone's interest. Disguised under a hood, a mysterious stranger slipped into the hotel. The designer of Kate's dress, perhaps? Even a sighting of the groom himself, Prince William emerged from Clarence's house to shake a few hands. It's almost more than the crowd can bear. Between the locals... So excited. Yeah, can't wait, can't for, wait tomorrow. for tomorrow. Tourists from Victoria taking it all in. We've had a pretty exciting few days. Um, today we were down at Buckingham Palace. We watched the changing of the guard. And we've seen people camping out there, and there's tons of media and tons of people all starting to get very, very, very excited, all lining up. Monday, Smith led a tour group from Victoria to London to witness history. Unlike this little village of diehard royal fans, the group won't sleep much tonight. We're going to be leaving the hotel at 7 a.m. and making our way to St. James's Park, where um, we feel we have a very good strategic location uh, near the palace and along the professional route. You can see from their photos, this is as close as our tourists will get to Westminster Abbey. Tonight, Smith says security is tight. And I can hear helicopters flying overhead. We're near the hotel where Kate Middleton is staying. But she adds it's not intrusive and doesn't detract from the excitement on the ground. It's a sense of history. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And with any luck, Smith and the 14 other Victorians will catch a glimpse of the royal procession. If you see any Canadian flags, that's probably going to be us from Victoria. I think we're the largest group that uh, has um, assembled at this point, and uh, we're up for a good time tomorrow. It's an outpouring of public affection that has the future king and queen of England feeling, quote, incredibly moved. In Victoria, Astrid Brownschmidt, A News.